Hello and welcome you all for this video tutorial session on topic unsupervised machine learning K means clustering technique. Myself uh, Mr. Vipul Kondekar from Walchand Institute of Technology Sulapur. So, these are the learning outcomes of this video session. At the end of the session, student will be able to implement how to form the groups of the data by taking the help of this K means clustering approach. As well, student will be able to analyze the performance of this K means clustering algorithm for different values of K. So, with this introduction, let us try to understand what exactly this K means algorithm is, how it is used. Basically, the K means algorithm is used for unsupervised learning, means there is no labeled data available, there are no targets specified from data itself you try to learn. Let us try to understand the algorithm for this K means clustering. So, this algorithm is basically used to group the data based on some kind of similarity. So, there are some parameters which are to consider is the total data set has to be taken input. Then as I said the data set is grouped based on some similarity. So, there are various distance measures. So, you have to choose appropriate distance measure to have a measure of similarity between the two data values, then you need to specify this k. In k means clustering, the value of k is representing the number of clusters in which you want to divide the whole data. So, these three will be the inputs required. Once you have this data set, distance measure selection and how many clusters are there. So, you can start with the algorithm where it will start with if k clusters are there, it will consider the k number of centroids initially in a random way. So, randomly three data points will be chosen as the centroids and then what you will be doing is you will be repeating a procedure where what you are repeating is associate each instance in the data set with the closest centroid by you calculating the distance which has been measured by measuring by using this distance measure and then the centroid to which I find the distance is minimum for a particular data set, I will assign the group of that particular centroid to the data set itself. So, I will say that that data set belongs to a group whose centroid is representing the minimum distance between that centroid point and the data set. Once this is done for all the data values, then what you have to do is you have to find the next centroid, recalculate the centroid from the associate data. So, you are getting some group of the data. So, then use those data values to form a new centroid and then again you have to repeat the same procedure for the new centroids. So, in every iteration you will be changing the association of the data set based on this distance measure and you have to repeat this procedure until you get a iteration where there is no change you are observing in the groups assigned to the data set. No instances from data set D changes its associated centroid and here the K means algorithm will terminate. So, so simple approach is used in this K means clustering algorithm. So, these are some of the advantages of this K means clustering. It is easy to implement, 
it's faster when data set size is very high and the tighter clusters are formed as compared to hierarchical clustering. There are some drawbacks also. The key point is how you will come up with the value of k for the given data set. So, there are some techniques available, but you will say it is difficult to find k when you are having the clusters output is strongly impacted by the initial input values. As well you are finding that the order of the data will be important that will have some importance in deciding the clusters and associating the data set into those clusters. So, when you are doing some sort of normalization then the association may change. So, hence it is sensitive to the rescaling of the data set and it is not suitable when you have a clusters with uh, complicated geometrical shapes. Interestingly, these are the various applications of this k means clustering. So, market segmentation, document, document clustering, image segmentation, grouping the images. In Google photos, the photos are automatically grouped and at the back end these type of clustering algorithms are working. So, in customers uh, segmentation and analyzing the trends on the dynamic data these clustering techniques are used. Now, let us try to switch to the implementation aspect of this k means clustering. So, I am using this Google Colab platform, a cloud based platform. The code is referred from the GitHub repository and the data set required is taken from a data set repository called as Kaggle. So, let us move to the implementation part. So, when you want to have the implementation, so you will require data set. So, first thing is try to make sure that the data set which is required currently I am using k means data as the data set file. So, make sure that you have uploaded that file. So, this k means fly I am having on my desktop. So, let me upload that because this file has to be available onto the cloud platform also. And now, this file I will be using in this particular program. Let us try to understand what you are having here. So, initially you will have import of few of the libraries which will help you in developing this particular model k means clustering model. So, numpy, scikit-learn, matplotlib and then pandas. So, these are few of the important libraries which will be required so are imported. So, let me execute this part of the code. So, all the libraries and the functionalities will be available to you. So, because you have imported the pandas, so it becomes very easy to read a CSV file comma separated values file. So, k means data file I want to read. So, make sure that whatever path you are having to that particular file, I am copying just that path and I am putting here to read the file and that file will be read in a data frame called as x. So, x will be the data frame which will have this file. Now, you will do some pre-processing of the data and now I try to have the visualization of the data where the data set I will try to have visualization. So, this is what is a scatter plot the two attributes are visualized here and now I can go for developing a k means clustering model before that you have to specify you have specified what is the data by default distance measure we will use it as Euclidean distance and here you have to specify the clusters. Let us say initially I specify that I want two clusters for this particular data. So, if you run this particular input parameters and then you can develop a model where 
k means dot fit will develop a model which will try to cluster this data into into two groups so you can give the title for this is k means and let us have the visualization of that grouping where the data is divided into two groups so these are the two centroids and whole data gets divided into two clusters now next if i want instead of two clusters let us have three clusters for the same data so change the input data parameter and again develop the model and try to visualize the data now these are the three clusters represented with three different colors so this is how just by changing number of clusters what you want so association will change and you will get the groups created groups created based on the value of k so remember here k is representing the number of clusters you want so like just by varying the value of k you can have k number of clusters formed now at the end we are having k value as 4 so we can have four different groups formed for the data and these are the centroids which are been considered for forming these groups so this is how by using unsupervised approach called as clustering and the algorithm k means clustering we can group the data into k number of clusters or groups this is presentation this was the implementation of k means clustering you can try it for the different data set and you can check the effect of variation of k values in the clusters which are been formed by using this algorithm so these are the references used for this video session thank you